Yo, alright, so I figured I'd do a, uh, a video blog here, as opposed to typing, um, just kind of talk. So, Florida's fucking awesome. Um, you know, when I got here, Greg and Judy have been, uh, ever since I've got here, they've been extremely generous in, in allowing me to stay at their place, and uh, you know, I, I've been pounding the pavement pretty hard filling in applications everywhere. It seems as though I'm a little bit early for the big uh, seasonal hiring around here. But, uh, you know, I posted something on Craigslist per Judy's advice and uh, about being a out-of-town photographer looking for some uh, some local work. And uh, the next morning had a couple hits. One came through and uh, it was for a really nice artistic couple who, um, were, were gracious enough to feed me lunch. Uh, and for those of you who know me, uh, you'd be surprised to find out that I ate a uh, portobello mushroom quiche and thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, <laughs> was a little, a little skeptical about trying a mushroom-based uh, dish, and uh, I, I told Jose of that. I says, you know, if, if I don't like it, it's not you. It's it's not the cooking, it's just the, the mushroom thing. Uh, but, you know, I opened my, my mind to it, and it was good. <laughs> it was really good, which, you know, I'm glad I did. Uh, and I had a great conversations with, with Son and with uh, Jose, and uh, shot their work for them, and, uh, and that was a good experience uh, for me. Plus, it was nice to have some pocket cash uh, once again. And... Um, so, in the past couple days here, I've been spending uh, some time up in uh, Phil LaBelle's condo, which is uh, Kitty Corner above uh, Greg and Judy's. And uh, cause Judy had planned on taking off out of town, and it didn't work out that way, unfortunately, which was a big bummer. Uh, but I was already up here at that point in time and decided to just take advantage of some space to myself for a little bit, which was good, uh, to kind of reevaluate some things that i had been throwing around in my head as far as artistically, uh, and that's stemming from a big conversation I had with Jose, who says, you know, that most artists have two lines that they, they, they go down, and he says, you know, the line, the one line is, is the line that they want to do and the things that they, they want to paint and express themselves freely. And then the other line is the line that they paint because, uh, you know, with the expectation of maybe selling it, because, you know, we, being artists, have to, that's what we have to do, you know, if we want to be artists, we, and then be successful at it and self-sufficient by it, uh, we have to become our own marketers and our own agents, and we have to try to paint things or create things that we feel as though people would would easily digest and buy. So, in rethinking that, you know, I've, I've been thinking about other options artistically. Uh, we'll see what pans out about that. But um, getting back to staying in Phil's place, this he was very gracious in letting me stay up here, uh, very generous as well. And I thank him very much for that. If you're watching this, Phil, thank you, man, and Karina too. Uh, it's really nice to have a little bit of space. Um, so, uh, the job front is uh, nothing's paid through yet, but uh, I've been still pounding the pavement pretty hard and filling in a lot of applications. And uh, got a couple new leads on some photo gigs that may or may not pan out. So, um, and I'm still waiting on the payment that I, I did. I worked for Jermaine Arena uh, not too long ago, it was the last week. Um, and I worked uh, tearing down the sets and loading up the sets um, from Cirque du Soleil's uh, latest show there, which was uh, pretty cool, being behind the scenes and doing all that. Um, hard work, you know, I got paid $14 an hour, which I later found out that I had to wait three weeks for, so in the two weeks I'll have uh, $70. I don't know how they could have just given it to me then, but that's the way that company works, I guess, so whatever, it was work and it's money down the road, so I can't bitch about that, but, uh, 
So besides all that, this place is uh, is amazing. Um, totally different surroundings than anywhere I've ever found myself, um, anywhere I've ever traveled. And uh, it's just uh, it's really nice. I mean, the plants are different, the, the animals are different, the, everything's different around here, and the weather is crazy, and it's fucking hot. God damn, it's fucking hot. I mean, I'm starting to get used to it a little bit, but man, it's still fucking hot out there. So anyway, I uh, wanted to wrap this up, didn't want to take too much time talking, just a quick recap, and uh, alright, I will talk to you guys later, and keep you updated as things progress. Alright, cool, thanks, bye.